My friend Steve Manuel and I are running crawfish traps to supply us for our crawfish boil. Steve does this on a daily basis, harvesting his crop for the market. Much easier with this paddle front wheel drive boat than it was in the earlier days when we had to walk through the rice fields dragging a big wash tub. The crawfish feed on rice straw from the previous year. Crawfish and rice crops are rotated each year. What a lovely Cajun cruise. The traps are now baited with pellets made from soy and grain byproducts and a small amount of fish meal and pieces of fish. Once emptied, the traps are rebaited until the next round. Seems easy, but it's still hard work, stressful and very demanding on the crawfishermen. By the looks of things, we'll have a bountiful amount for our crawfish boil. The crawfish are dumped into the table and pushed into sacks, then brought ashore to be carried to the processing plants or markets. Well, this is the end of our Cajun cruise. What a fun trip. For me, that is. Steve did all the hard work. Next, the crawfish are purged for restaurant use. Tanks hold the crawfish in plain water for 24 hours without food. Then, we once again sack them to be shipped out. This is the grating of the crawfish. Actually, a vegetable grater is used. They are dumped into the bin, carried up on a conveyor belt. These don't want to grow up. Gonna taste good in the pot tomorrow. Yes. The small crawfish fall through the smallest holes, the medium ones through the next size, and the largest wait till the end of the line to fall through. Each section has different sized crawfish to be sacked again before their final destination. I would use the large ones for frying and the medium to smaller crawfish for etouffees, gumbos, or crawfish pie. They are now weighed and tagged to be sent off. Lots of crawfish boils and etouffees here. These men are getting their daily workout, but it's for a worthy cause, bringing delicious crawfish to our table.